were you surprised by this departure? I think everyone was taken aback by it. It was just such a stunning uh, and incredible uh, announcement because, you know, this whole scandal uh, facing Wells Fargo, it only began to un unravel the beginning of September and then this. And it was kind of unexpected also because Wells Fargo itself has not finished its own internal investigation. It was going to last a couple of more months. John Stump said he was going to stay through the process. He wouldn't take any salary. He wouldn't take any bonus. So he seemed pretty much like he was going to take the heat. Um, also, the bank's earnings come out uh, tomorrow, which is a big event, and I think analysts and investors were looking forward to asking a lot of tough questions of John Stump, so everybody was taken uh, by surprise. Right. Is this something that had to happen for the bank in order for it to move forward eventually? You know, Anne, I'm going to say yes, but. I mean, in a perfect world, yes. I mean, here's uh, a bank that had a wind of some of these, um, you know, fake accounts coming out as far back as 2010. In 2013, there was an investigation by federal regulators. So obviously, the CEO and management had to know something about this, and nothing, nothing was done. So in a way, he had to take the fall for and take responsibility. But you know, in my experience, and I'm sure you've seen, so many CEOs are in a tight spot. They have a crisis they have to face, whether it's a product recall or whether it's you know some other issue, and they somehow remake themselves. And I don't know why John Stump uh, didn't stick it out a little bit a longer. He did say in his letter to the board that he thought it was just best decision that he step aside. He was too much of a distraction. Right. And so you've spoken to John Stump a couple times. What does this mean for him as an executive? Well, you know, he's had such a stellar career. Uh, he has been considered sort of the golden child of banking, very um, admired, not only in banking circle, circles and on Wall Street, but in Washington. Uh, stellar record. The stock since he became CEO in 2007 has been up, you know, something like 30 30 percent while other bank stocks were down. What does it mean for him? Uh, he's going out with a big um, compensation package, 130 some million dollars reportedly, but he could still be facing a lot of questions, investigations, so it's just not over yet for him. Right. And so is Elizabeth Warren right? She's, she said that this is not enough, and she's uh, actually suggested that there might be criminal investigations. You know, she's been very tough uh, on Wells Fargo and when it comes to protecting consumers. Um, she, during those uh, Senate hearings, she said that he should resign, he should give his uh, compensation back, and there should be a Department of Justice investigation. And when he announced this yesterday, she said, well, one out of three, but it's not enough. So I, I think we are, lawmakers are going to have to respond to all of this. They're going to have to respond to the new management set up at uh, Wells Fargo. And I think that there's still going to be a lot of questions by both uh, lawmakers as well as the public and investors.